So in this section I want to talk about data types and every single piece of data that you put into a database into a table has to be assigned a data type. Now there's a bunch of data types but there's three main categories and that is numeric data types obviously numbers, integers, um, floating points uh, and then we have strings which is basically text and date and time data types. And before we go into um, the um, the basic data types from those categories, I want to talk about what signed and unsigned means. And the the numeric uh, tiny int, small int, medium int, int and big int all have signed and unsigned versions. And basically, unsigned is um, it can have negative numbers. Um, I'm sorry, an unsigned data type can't have negative numbers, but it has twice as large of a range than uh, signed data types. All right, twice twice as large as a positive in a positive range. Signed data types um, have twice as less of a positive value, but they can have negative types okay <clears throat> I'm sorry negative numbers or values and you can see down here we have an example an int which is by default signed um, it can go from this number which is a negative number all the way to this n positive number if it's unsigned then it can't have any negative numbers so it starts at zero but it goes to double the signed value okay so I hope that's clear. Now let's get into the the three categories. So first we have our numeric data types. We have an int, which is probably the most common numeric data type. This is a normal sized integer. It can have up to 11 digits, which is a very, very high number. Tiny ints are very small integers, 0 to 255 and can have a width up to four digits. Um, it's a synonym for boolean, so usually a boolean, a tiny int, um, are mostly used to be a one or a zero to represent off and on. All right. Um, for instance, you may have a field in your users table called is activated and have it as a tiny int and if the user is activated it's a one if the user is not it's a zero alright so that's mostly what tiny ints are used for small int um, can have a width of five digits medium int width of nine digits and a big int can have up to twenty digits uh, we also have a float which is a floating point number and can define length and number of decimals okay so you can define those things Double is a double precision floating point number, and then a decimal is an unpacked floating point number. So that's what we have for numeric data types. Next we have string data types. We have a char or car. It's a fixed length string, uh, 1 to 255 characters in length, not required to specify a length, and it defaults to 1. All right, next we have a varchar, which is the probably the most popular um, string data type. It's basically a variable length. Remember, a car, a char is is fixed. Varchar is is variable, and one to two hundred fifty-five characters, and it must have a defined length. You must specify a maximum length, and a lot of times people will just use two fifty-five by default. Um, which I, I do do sometimes, but uh, it's probably better to keep it, you know, if you have an email address that's a varchar, maybe give it a maximum of 40 characters, even though sometimes I will give it 255, even though I know the e no email address is going to be that long. Um, just a, a convention, I guess. <clears throat> so next we have a text area or a blob. Um, basically, you would use this for... Um, maybe like a, a blog post, something like that, something that you're going to have a lot of data. Um, let's say you have a, a, an editor, uh, for instance, WordPress, when you have that, the big the body with the editor, that would usually go into a text field. And it has a max length of 
um, 65,535 characters. Blobs can store large binary data like images, but I would not suggest that you keep images themselves into in the database. You want to keep the location of the image and then have the image reside on your server. Tiny blob or tiny text have a, has a max length of 255. Medium has a max length, uh, you can see this number here, and then the long text or long blob has this huge number. Uh, and then we have an enum, which is enumeration. Uh, it basically is a list, and it's used to create a list of items for which a value must be selected. All right, so that's string data types. Lastly, we have date. I'm sorry, this should say date and time, not data. Date and time types. All right, so first we have a date, which is um, it's a date in this format. So we have the year, month, and day. So September 10th, 1981 would be stored as 1981-09-10. And of course you can use PHP or whatever programming language you're using, you can convert that into a readable date like this. Um, you, in fact, in PHP, the date function, you can set it up, you can have dates however you want. Um, date time, basically, um, is a combination of the date and time. It has the same year, the same format as the date, but it also adds on the time in hours, minutes, seconds format. A timestamp is basically uh, an, a string of numbers, and it represents um, the time between uh, January 1st, 1970, and sometime in 2037. So it looks like the date time format, but without the hyphens. Like I said, it's like a long string of numbers. Time basically is just the time, no date, so hours, minutes, seconds. And then a year can store um, a year in two digit or four digit format. So those are the three data type groups and all the data types that we can use in MySQL. Um, so in the next chapter, we'll start to um, get our hands dirty and install MySQL on a couple different platforms and we'll get started.